In this video, you will learn how to optimize your first mix design. We will cover one by one all the steps of the mix design optimization workflow, from the very first step of activating an existing reference mix design to placing the optimized mix design in production. Feel free to use the video chapters to skip a section or to review a particular step. To start, you will learn how to find a mix design to select for optimization using the Mix Design Library. First, go to the left menu and click on Mix Design Library. This will display all of the mix designs across your plants. At the top of the screen, filter by plant and mix design code in order to find the mix that you want to optimize. We will work with Mix 7 at Plant 5. When it is visible, click on the Mix Design code to display the Mix Design Management page. If the mix design is marked as inactive, activate it by clicking the Activate Mix Design button. If you ever want to reverse this activation, click on Edit Mix Information and change the concrete copilot status. This mix can now be added to the mix optimization queue. You will now learn how to select a mix design using the Savings Estimation feature on the new Optimizations dashboard. Go to the left menu and click the Optimization Progress dropdown. Select New Optimizations. This will display a list of mixes ranked by an estimation of potential annual cost savings using the previous year's volume. It is also possible to sort by estimated savings on a unit volume basis by clicking on the column name. Select the first mix design from the screen. This will load the mix design management page. Activate the mix by clicking the Activate Mix Design button. Now that the mix design is active, you can add it to the optimization queue. There are several ways to do this. The simplest method is to click the Add to Optimization Queue button in the Optimization Information section. Alternatively, the page access through the Edit Optimization Information button includes the Optimization Stage dropdown. Select a waiting optimization to add the mix design to the optimization queue. Finally, the mixes in the queue can be managed through the Optimization Action Items dashboard, which can be accessed by clicking on Optimization Progress and then Optimization Action Items on the left side of the screen. If the mix design is not already in the Awaiting Optimization column, drag and drop it from Not Selected Yet. This will update its status. When the mix design is in the Optimization queue, Verify that its constraints are correct before proceeding to optimization. In the Mix Design Management page, the constraints are located on the right half of the screen. Many, if not all, of the constraints on this mix design will already be populated through Concrete Copilot's integration with your QC system. If anything is missing or incorrect, click Edit Mix Constraints at the bottom of the constraint display and make any necessary changes. To make the changes permanent, be sure to also edit the constraints in your QC software. Otherwise, the changes will be overwritten. Click Save Constraints to return to the Mix Design Management page. Now that the mix design has been activated and placed in the optimization queue, and the constraints are verified, it can be optimized. This can be accomplished from the Mix Design Management page either by clicking the Optimize Mix Design button in Optimization Information, or by using the Mix Design Actions dropdown and selecting Optimize Mix Design. Both options will optimize the mix design to have the lowest cost. The optimization will take a few seconds. While you wait, the optimization engine is generating millions of possible mix designs, predicting their performance, and applying the constraints set earlier. Once this is done, the screen will display a comparison of the original reference mix design to the new optimized mix design. While Concrete Copilot's AI engine is powerful, it is important for a concrete professional to inspect the changes made by the optimization and apply their own experience. The top left of the screen is a direct comparison of the reference and optimized mixes. Hovering over the entries of this table displays information about the materials and their contribution to the mix. Scroll down to see a comparison of common calculated properties of the mix like global warming potential, water to cementitious ratio, and cement replacement. The right side of the screen includes several graphical comparisons of the two mix designs, including the difference in cost, GWP, predicted strength gain, 
and several aggregate charts like Shulstone and Tarantula plots. Additionally, the right side includes a comparison of all predicted properties, including strength and slum, as well as an estimation of the model's confidence in the prediction. After reviewing the optimized mix design, you may find that it does not align with your objectives or judgment. This situation is the purpose of the Temporarily Adjust Constraints tab. Click on it to access options for modifying the optimization. The existing constraints on the mix design are already populated. To change the optimization objective to something other than just cost, click on the drop-down in Objectives of the Optimization to minimize global warming potential or a combination of cost and GWP. To apply any constraint, look for it in the list of possible constraints and fill in the form. The reference mix must comply with any applied constraints to ensure a fair comparison. Otherwise, a warning will appear. Click Re-Optimize to perform a new optimization using the new constraints. To remove all temporary constraints, click Reset. Because the optimization is more restricted than before, the cost savings will be reduced when new constraints are applied. Add new constraints and re-optimize until you are satisfied with the optimized mix design. Once the optimized mix is finalized, save the new design by giving it a name and clicking Save This Mix. This will redirect to a new management page for the optimized mix design. The mix will now go through the trial batch process, to begin tracking its progress, click Add to Trial Batch Queue in Optimization Information. Once the page has reloaded, click the hyperlink at the top of the screen to go to the Optimization Action Items dashboard. The mix will be in the Awaiting Trial Batch column, identified by the reference mix code and the plant code. If there are multiple optimized mixes for a particular reference mix, select one of them by clicking on the mix design, clicking Edit Information, and using the Optimize Mix Design drop-down to select an optimized mix. Click Update Cost and GWP Savings so that the savings values correspond to the correct mix design. Click Save Optimization Information. Once the mix design is trial batched, drag it from Awaiting Trial Batch to Awaiting Test Results to update its status. Alternatively, this status can be changed on the Edit Optimization Information page available through the Mix Design Management screen. Often, keeping notes about the trial batch process can be useful to document things like the trial batch date or changes in batch constituents compared to the mix. To do this, click on the Mix Design from the dashboard, click Edit Information, fill in the Optimization Notes field, and click Save Optimization Information. As test results come in, it can be helpful to record measurements in the optimization notes by navigating to the Optimization Action Items dashboard, selecting the desired mix, and then clicking Edit Information. If all test results have come in and the mix performs well, drag it into the Awaiting Production column on the Optimization Action Items dashboard. The mix design should stay in Awaiting Production until it is entered into the QC platform and given a real mix code at which stage it should be transitioned to in production. Our Realized vs. Missed Savings dashboard will count all of the truckloads of the reference mix batched from this day onward as missed savings since the mix design is ready to be used on jobs. Once the mix design has been entered into the QC system, drag the tile for the mix design to in production or use the Edit Optimization Information page. Congratulations! You have successfully put a mix into production and unlocked the cost savings and emissions reduction power of Concrete Copilot.